See how they like stick? Mm -mm -mm. I feel so pretty. When's the last time we did one like this? Hey girl, this morning I tried out some new eye patches and I thought they were just the cutest thing. These are the faded, no, the topicals faded under eye patches and I just think they're just so cute. So I've had these on for about 10 minutes already, but um, we're just gonna sit here. Well, not sit, I'm actually standing. We're in my guest bathroom. I just wanted to get ready in the bathroom because I mean, I don't know, why not? Different scenery whatever but y'all I have a few new products we're gonna try out today I have a new sunscreen that I have yet to try out but I showed you guys in a um, Target haul it's the elf skin untouchable no sun touchable Wovlo sunscreen I'm gonna put this on I already have on um, a vitamin C serum from bliss and we have a few other products that I'm gonna try out today. So I squeezed everything in this little bag. Um, just a few new products that I haven't even touched. And I don't know, we're just gonna, you know, hang out in here and try out the products together. So yeah, first thing I wanna do though, is put something on my lips because they are dry. This is the Soap and Glory Ultra Smoothing Lip Oil and I've been loving this stuff. It kind of reminds me of the MAC, um, lip glass because it smells just like it but it's not as thick as the lip glass um so yeah like i said i already have on a serum now i'm just gonna actually no let's go ahead and put on some brows so i ran out of and there might be an echo in this video simply because we're in the bathroom but anyway I ran out of my brow pencil that I was using. It's the Makeup Forever one. So I decided to pull this one out of my drawer because I haven't used one of these in a while. It's the Precision, no, Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I used to use this all the time. All the time. So instead of buying a whole new brow pencil, we're just going to use what we already have. I'm going to use the little spoolie on it first. So my, um, my skin has been freaking out, you guys. I'm using, um, well, I'm starting back on my retinol because that stuff is very, very strong and it works. So I started back using it um, while well, I started last night. And I use it like two to three times a week. Um, I need a closer mirror. But yeah, my skin has been freaking out ever since I got back home from Tennessee and I don't know why. I just have these like random breakouts. So yeah, and the, um, oh, the retinol I'm using is the Skin RX. Dark, it's the Rapid Dark Spot Treatment Retinol. So yes, girl. But I mean, we're still gonna do a full face of makeup today. <laughs> we are still gonna just put on some makeup, try out some new products. A few products that I um, received in PR and just a couple that I purchased with my own money. Okay, I totally forgot that this brow pencil is like bomb. <laughs> we can actually call this Vogue. Get ready with me. All right, now let's take these off. See how they like stick. So I've had these on for a while, y'all. And it's supposed to just depuff the eyes. I definitely feel like there's a difference. I feel like there is a difference because I notice when like my eyes get puffy like right here, you probably can see a little bit, see right there, but it's usually bigger as soon as I wake up. Um, so I went ahead and put the patches on after washing my face. And like I said, I've had the, pa I've had the patches on longer, longer than 10 minutes. I really don't know how long you're supposed to keep them on, but um, it looks really good under the eyes. Y'all, I've been using this Glossier, Glossier, Glossier 
Some people say it differently, but we're gonna say Glossier. <laughs> I've been using this moisturizer. This is a very thick moisturizer, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So you're supposed to just warm, cause look, I've been killing it y'all. And you only, you only need a little bit. I'm gonna take it on my fingers, warm it up, cause it's what you're supposed to do, cause it's so thick. And then I'm gonna put it on. So I'm gonna put this on before putting that sunscreen on. But yes, girl, if you have really dry skin, I think you will enjoy this moisturizer because it's very thick, very, very, very hydrating. Um, so I usually wear it at night and also during the day. I probably won't be wearing this like when summer hits because I feel like it's just gonna be too, too heavy on my skin, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'll be putting it on my eyes too, y'all. I don't even care. Ooh, I probably shouldn't be doing that. You're not supposed to be tugging under your eyes. It causes wrinkles. So I'm just gonna press it in. <laughs> so don't come for me if you are a skincare, if you are an esthetician or anything like that, don't come for me. I'm pressing it, girl. I'm pressing it. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with the sunscreen. So I've been hearing mixed reviews. I don't know if, um, I don't know, let's go, go ahead and try it. So some people say it gives them a white cast. Some people say that um, it broke them out. So, I mean, it's worth a try. So we're gonna see, there's a seal on it, but this is the little tube. I'm gonna take the seal off. I think it has like a little tint to it, yeah. So, so it's not white. I mean, it probably looks white on camera, but it's like a tan color. We're gonna go in with about this much. Cause you need a good bit of sunscreen. At least that's what I'm told. <laughs> and we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the face. You know, I don't even have a primer down here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put makeup on on top of this, which is fine. Sometimes I use a primer. Sometimes I can go without it. Today we're gonna go without because I ain't got one down here. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, wait a minute. It's rubbing in good. Wait a minute, maybe? I'm gonna have to try it with without that Glossier moisturizer just to make sure, you know, because with the moisturizer, look, look y'all, look at that. And that's with the moisturizer. So I'm definitely gonna have to try this by itself to make sure that it blends in just as good because girl it is a blending into my skin like butter like butter that's my favorite thing to say like butter i'm not mad at it y'all not mad at it not at all I'm trying to get around my brows because we've already done the brows but honestly and truly, you guys, it's looking good. It is looking good. So I have a lot left on my hand, but, and I like that it's not crumbling. Like, you know how sometimes when you layer products, it starts to peel on the face and I like, it starts to peel it's not peeling with that moisturizer, so I like that. But look at the skin, y'all. Oh, okay. Okay, and it doesn't have a smell either. All right, girl, now let's do the makeup. I have, do I have, a, I don't have a new foundation, but I pulled a foundation out of my drawer that I haven't really used much lately, but I love which is the House Lab Foundation. And I use the um, the shade 460. So yeah, I haven't used this one, so I figured we'd go ahead and use it. But, oh, and I have a concealer that I haven't used in a while either that we're gonna use today. Y'all know I be using my e.l.f. concealer like so much. <laughs> but we're gonna switch it up today. All right, House Lab's Foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and 
apply this on the face with the sponge. All right, we are done with the foundation. The skin is looking so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now let's do concealer. So I am using Uma Stay Woke Concealer. My favorite, well, one of my favorite concealers along with the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, camo. So we're using this today. I think this is T3, no, T2, Brown Sugar T2 is the shade. It's just so creamy, great coverage, blends out beautifully on the skin. And it's definitely a good long lasting concealer too. I have a new setting powder. I hope it doesn't mess up the look today. I hope it doesn't. But yeah, we're using a new setting powder today. Um, I probably should have used the e.l.f. concealer because that's the concealer I usually use when I'm testing out like a new setting powder. Um, but it's okay. We will get through it. We'll blend this out. So I've shown you guys this in a haul before, but I haven't used it yet. It's the West Man Atelier. But Vital Press Skincare Powder, and this is the pink one. So I've been wanting to try out different pink powders since I love the one from um, Huda so much. So I've just been trying to test out, I mean, I haven't really tried any other ones, but I am wanting to try out some pink powders and I've been wanting to try out this powder anyway. Um, this is in the shade Pink Bubble and this is pretty heavy, you guys, and it's pretty expensive. It's kind of hard to open with my nails. Girl, my nails are pretty pointy, but they are like the perfect shape. The first time ever getting the perfect shape in the salon, and I'm so happy about it. All right, it's so cute, you guys. There's like a little heart on the mirror. I don't know, I'm gonna try to, see that little heart right there? Isn't it adorable? And then this is the color, like a really light, baby pink so let's try it let's try it i'm going to use a sponge with this instead of a brush because i prefer a sponge um if you're new if this is your first time watching me get ready or like put makeup on i use a sponge with literally everything girl everything okay so we're picking up a little bit like a oh y'all can't even see that but it's not picking up a lot of the product, so. And it's supposed to be like a really sheer, ooh, let me press that concealer in. I'm flipping the sponge over right there to press in that concealer, because when you let it sit for a while without setting it, it can crease. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, setting your concealer. But yeah, let's go, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, this is a really sheer powder, but oh my gosh. Like I'm really swirling my brush in the powder, but oh my gosh, you guys. It looks good. Okay, do you see a difference? This side looks, it looks more blurred right here. And then this is without the concealer. And it doesn't look pink either. That's another thing. Like at first I thought the pink setting powders would look pink, which is why I never really purchase pink setting powders, but after trying the one from Huda, seeing that it doesn't look pink on me, like it just looks like a translucent setting powder, I loved it. And this is looking good. Wow, this looks good. Now, I don't know any affordable alternatives to this powder. This is a very <laughs> pricey little bitty powder, um, but if you have any affordable alternatives to this, let us know in the comments because I know some of you don't, you know, you ain't trying to spend that. I wasn't trying to spend that much for this powder, but I use a, um, I told you guys in that vlog because I did a, um, a haul in the vlog. I, I was telling you guys that I used a gift card, which is why I finally went ahead and got this. 
So I got it with the card that I had, the gift card that I had. But oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm gonna put it on my lid too. Wow, this is looking so good, y'all. Very, very sheer. So I have to keep pressing. Well, I have to keep putting the sponge into the powder. Next time I'm gonna use a different sponge because this one is kind of making it brown in here and I don't want it to look like it's messing up the pink. <sighs> but I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna um, put something in it to wipe away the makeup from it. But yeah, I'm gonna use two different sponges when I use this powder because I just, I don't like looking at it looking messy like it is because <laughs> that makeup is like rubbing off in it but it looks so nice on the skin you guys oh my gosh but the true test will be how it lasts like that's the true test like you know it's good and all at first but you never really know with makeup until you actually wear it all day so yeah and y'all know i'm gonna update y'all because i have um a video that I gotta film. It's gonna be like an updated product video slash favorites video. So I'll try to um, wear this some more before filming that video so I can update you guys in that video. But so far, I mean, look at, look, look, just look at where I placed it. It looks good. It looks really good. I'm impressed. Now, um, I don't have a new, I still don't have the Makeup Forever. I'm, I'm gonna get it though, the Makeup Forever, the new Makeup Forever powder. I don't have that yet, but for now, we're gonna use MAC. Y'all know I keep using this because I love it. I am obsessed with the MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish, so we're just gonna use this to press in or we'll just set the makeup around my face. Yeah, I am impressed with that Westman Atelier, Adelier, Atelier <laughs> powder. I almost wanna try, no, that's doing too much. I was about to say, I almost wanna try another shade in it. See if they have one that I can use as a, I don't think they do though. I don't think they have any shades. They're just like, I think under eye brightener setting powders. I don't think they have one that I can use all over the face like I'm using um, the MAC but I love, love, love how the center of my face looks with that powder. Like it just looks super, I don't know, I don't know the word, but it looks good. It looks good. Okay, so I pulled out a bronzer that I haven't used um, since last year. <laughs> since last year, which is the LYS Cream Bronzer. I use Strength, and I also use the same shade in the um, the powder, the matte bronzer. So we're gonna use cream today. We're gonna twist it up. This is what it looks like, if you haven't seen it. And I am gonna take this little brush. You guys keep asking about this brush. This is the Tarte excuse me it's the Tarte brush but I got it with the Tarte oh girl I got gas girl <laughs> but it's the Tarte um brush that came with my sculpt bronzer the Tarte sculpt bronzer I don't know if they still have it where you get the brush and the bronzer together but I ordered that bronzer off of QVC when it first came out like before it even was available at Sephora or Ulta so yeah but I'm just putting this all right, I'm not putting the brush back into the product because I think I picked up too much. So we're gonna try to blend it all out around the face. But yeah, I love this little brush. I love it. Blend it. Because it just gets where you need it, you know? Put the product on and then just press it in instead of swiping back and forth because you'll move your foundation if you do that. And that's why I just press in the product like that to blend it. And it works. Let's press it in. I'm gonna put some more on my forehead. 
because I love it on the forehead. Yeah, girl. So, so far I am very impressed with that powder because it looks so good. I just can't stop looking at my under eyes. Like it looks bomb. I really hope like it stays like this because I would hate for my concealer to start creasing and the Uma concealer does not crease on me. So that's how I'm going to know, like that's how I'll know if this setting powder is good because I know for a fact the Uma concealer does not crease under my eyes. Um, okay, so I, oh, let me do some more of this. Um, I brought my Fenty Instant Warmth Bronzer in here. Uh, well, the matte bronzer from Fenty. This is in the shade Thick Mint. I brought this in here to set the bronzer since we just used cream. But before I do that, I'm going to take some more of that bronzer and put it on the side of my nose. Now let's take Fenty. I'm using the Sephora 50.5 brush. I wonder if they still have this on Sephora. I know they brought it back last year, but I wonder if they still have it. I'm taking about this much of the bronzer. I wonder if they still have it on the site because this is hands down my favorite brush to use with bronzer. So yeah, I'm just going over the face and this just warms the face up too. Yes, mm, 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 mm. I feel so pretty. Okay, um, ooh, look at this y'all. The lip bar, okay, this isn't new, but it's new to me. This is the Lip Bar Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. And so at first I thought I wanted to do like a really grungy, smoky eye, but I'm like, girl, where are you going? I don't know. Do we wanna do that? Do we really want to do that? Okay, here it is. This is like a... Oh, there's like a little mirror on the bottom of it. But here we are. Do we want to do a grungy, smoky eye today? I don't even have like the eye brush tools for that. I just have this one eyeshadow brush. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. We're gonna take this brown and put it in the crease, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Good little transition color. And it doesn't look, does it look? Yeah, it doesn't look too gray. Sometimes colors like this just shows up gray on the eyes, but it's not pulling too gray. Now I'm gonna use the black and I'm gonna stick with the same brush like I always do. And I'm gonna put, I'm not putting this all over y'all because I don't wanna mess anything up. I'm just gonna keep it on the outer corner of my lid, just like this, just like that. And then, okay. I had to make sure I brought my lashes in here because I didn't feel like going to get them either. But I did, okay. Oh girl, when's the last time we did one like this? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna wipe most of that shadow off of the brush. I'm wiping it on a dry napkin. Getting most of it off because I don't have another blending brush down here. Um, how prepared am I? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, let me let me go back into that. I'm gonna take that brown again because I need something to just kind of blend both of them together. So I'm taking that brown and just going right here in the crease where they both touch, like where both of the colors touch and just blending, 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 just like that. Because you want them to blend together. Ooh, I hope, ooh, 
Wait, I'm done blending right there. Cause this can look like a black eye real quick. So you gotta be careful with black eyeshadow. And knowing me, it's gonna look like a, like I'm gonna look like a raccoon knowing me. So, okay. It's looking good, it's looking good. Let me do a little bit more right there. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Done with that. I'm gonna wipe the, br uh, the brush off again. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm gonna use the MAC powder because I need just a little something, something else. Um, the, MAC, uh, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, going in with that same brush, just kind of going in on the side though, because yeah. Um, but I'm gonna take it and just kind of press it over the lighter shade on the lid. And it's just gonna kind of melt in together with everything, just like that, you know? Just pressing it in right there. And then just pressing. I'm not blending, I'm pressing. So it just melts in, look at that. See how it just melts? Why am I saying melts? See how it just, I don't know girl. I don't know, but it's working. It's looking good. It looks pretty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we're gonna do what we got next. Eyeliner, Essence. Essence Long Lasting Black Fever Eyeliner. My absolute favorite drugstore eyeliner. Well, it's actually my absolute favorite eyeliner because uh, it's for one, like super duper affordable. It's like under $5. I'm putting this on my waterline. I am going to take this really tiny brush. It's like a little pencil shader brush. Excuse me, going back into the brown and the black that's in this eyeshadow palette. I'm just going back and forth with the colors. Just do, 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 do. Picking up both of them and then just kind of going over that eyeliner to smoke it out with the uh, with the eyeshadow. Velour lashes, my same ones that I've been using. Where did they go? Oh, there they are, over there. Putting on that lash, uh, the lash adhesive first. Just putting it on like an eyeliner. And these are the magnetic lashes from Velour that I'm gonna be using. And this is the matching adhesive that you're supposed to use with it. So just put it on like you're putting on liquid eyeliner. It's always one eye that you mess up and it's this one. I put too much of that adhesive, like you can see like a glob of it right there. Whatever. Oops. All right, my lashes were sticking to the mirror because they're like little magnets. <laughs> they were sticking to my mirror. Just pop it on like this. Yeah, you can kind of see the little blob right there, but it's fine. Oh, can't really test this out like I want to because I'm wearing the lashes, but Elle Cosmetics has a new mascara. It's called Lash and Roll, but I am gonna test it out on my bottom lashes to see how the wand and stuff is. Ooh, this is almost like the Benefit. Y'all remember that? Y'all. Benefit Roller Lash, even the actual tube looks, I mean, the top does, I mean, it's the same color, but Benefit has like the rubber top. But this, the wand itself, looks very similar to the Benefit Roller Lash. So this might be, a good alternative. I'm trying to say alternative instead of dupe because not everything is a dupe. <laughs> so affordable alternative is what I've been trying to say instead of dupes. But I think this, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, it's a dupe. It's just how it's a plot like. The wand is literally just like the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It's not clumping, 
is getting my baby lashes and y'all know I have the smallest baby lashes. Like it's getting up in there. I still haven't used the Dior Backstage blush that I also shared with you guys in a, um, in a vlog. It's um, Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Pink. And I didn't know if I wanted to use this by itself or what. So what I did, if I can open it, I brought another blush down here because you know, we like to mix things on the channel. But this is the, what the Dior blush looks like. It's a bright bubblegum pink, but let me get the camera to, okay, there we go. That's the true color right there. But I saw Princess K use this and she's a little darker than me and it looked beautiful on her. Like it looked beautiful. While I'm talking, um, I forgot to get back into the brow to blend it out right here. But yeah, it looks so good on her. So I said, yes, let me go ahead and get it. I always saw, like I always saw this blush, but I was like, this is not gonna work on my complexion. But after seeing her use it, it looked so good. So I was like, let me just try it for myself. And we are about to try it and see what it looks like. So just in case I don't like it, I'm gonna mix it in with MAC um, Raisin. This is a oldie but goodie. Such a gorgeous brick red, like, I don't know, it's like a brown, red, it's, it's really pretty. So just in case this doesn't work, and this is like an odd mixture, like the color. <laughs> like, I mean, it might come out really pretty together, but bubblegum pink with a, a terracotta looking color, don't know, but we're gonna try it. Um, yeah, so let's use, I'm gonna take this little brush. Ah, my nail, no. My nail just dug into the brush, uh, the blush. It's fine. This is my Sonia Kashik. Did I use this yet? No, it's clean. Is it? Yeah, it's clean. Sonia Kashik um, brush. We're gonna go in with, and then we're gonna take the Dior backstage blush. Okay, so this must be a really sheer blush because it's not really coming off. Ooh, it smells good. I mean, it's not strong, but it smells, it smells like the takeoff, no, the on off cleanser by Dior, which is, is really, really good. But it smells just like it. Mm, it smells really nice and fresh, but yeah. So <laughs> not a lot came up or maybe it's just way too light, but let's see, let's just see what it looks like right here okay wait a minute hold on this actually warms up on the skin okay yeah it's really sheer but y'all it doesn't look like this it doesn't look as light as it does in here but on the skin it literally warms up to your complexion like Hold on, let me do, I don't wanna to do too much, but I want you guys to see what I'm saying. Like, it, I, like I can actually use it is what I'm trying to say. Look at that. Look at that. Girl, I might not even put any of the MAC powder on because, oh my gosh, wait a minute. This is actually working. I mean, I, I knew it would because Princess K, like it worked on her, but I really was not expecting this color to show up on brown skin, brown and dark skin. But yes, oh my, okay, this, there we go. Look at that, y'all. She's cute. She's a spring blush. That is adorable, adorable. Yeah, it doesn't look ashy, like it doesn't look frosty, it just looks, honestly, it kind of looks like I put on the Too Faced Cloud Nine blush or the one from Sephora, the Sephora matte blush in the shade Hey Jealousy. 
that's what it looks like to me. Like it looks like I put those blushes on my face instead of this bright bubblegum pink. Like she's cute. But just for funsies, let's put a little bit of the blush from MAC on. Let's just kind of go over it just a little bit because why not, you know? Yeah, it just darken it up some. Cute! Now what's left is the lips. So I got a few things from Live Tinted and I have been wanting to try out the Hue Stick. This is in the shade Grounded. So you can actually put this on the face, but we're gonna put it on the lips. And I also have their Hue Gloss in the shade Proud. So Grounded is a nude, and y'all know I am all about nudes. So this is, look how cute it is. And then this is the color, really pretty nude. So I'm thinking I wanna put this just all over my lips just to see how it looks. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all, y'all gotta see this color. I'm gonna put it on my hand. Oh my gosh, this is, let me show you. Cause my camera is getting hot now. So let me show you. Look, 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 <laughs> look at that. Mm, yes, yes, yes. This is a type of nude I like. Look y'all, just look. Look at that. Okay. And then the gloss looks like this, which is another really gorgeous nude color. And I love that the doe foot applicator is big, but there's the gloss. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to put this on top and this is just going to give it a little shine. I'm messing up the applicator, but it's okay. It is okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is a very juicy gloss. Like it's not sticky. Oh, this feels good. All right, girl, we are done. I left my spray upstairs and I'm not going up there to get it, but I'm just going to spray my face with the Tatcha Dewy Mist. But let me know, girl, let me know how I did today. Do you like any of the products? Have you tried any of the products that I use? If you have, what are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments, but I really enjoyed just hanging out with you guys today while I did my makeup in the bathroom. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you again for hanging out with me. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We are on the road to 200K. So go ahead and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next one.